Here I am sharing an important video where homium laser while using on the stone touched the periphery of the mucosa. It can damage the ureter. Whether it is homium or thulium, primarily it is the heat. Lot of people say that thulium it is more. As of now it could not be proved. Only thing is when you apply thulium to mucosa, it a charring appearance will be there. Whereas in homium, white appearance will be there. We feel charring appearance is severe damage, white appearance is less damage. At the same time, homium has slightly cutting property, whereas thulium has slightly more coagulative property. As of now, studies have not proved the advantages and disadvantages. I am sharing here the video, old one actually, where the surgeon has used the homium laser at 110 that means 1 joule and 10 hertz. This stone might have easily tackled with the pneumatic but if you see here this is the homium laser he is touching the safety guide where also he is touching see its white appearance nothing appeared here not a major damage it, as if it is not a major damage but heat injury manifested later on. So dear friends, homium or thulium, please use cautiously in ureter. If possible, use pneumatic lithotripter. See after 3 weeks, uh, when we went inside, see the mucosa paleness. See the complete structure like in urethra, totally blocked ureter. Forcibly, we have dilated and ultimately after 5 years, this kidney became poor functioning kidney due to loss of uh, follow-up. So, Homium or thulium, both lasers are dangerous if you touch the mucosa. It's not only the appearance, but also the heat damage cannot be estimated from external look. Thank you.